Hi everyone, That Cat Mommy here, and today I'm gonna talk with you about some DIY pet memorial gifts. Now, I have not made any of these, but here's, so story time, here's what happened. Um, so some of you guys know my cat passed away and my friend gave me a beautiful DIY made memorial gift um, and she was able to make it like literally overnight because she had the supplies. She has made these before um, and bring it to me the day that my cat died. It was amazing. And uh, so many people asked me where did I get that from? And it's very unique. It doesn't look like anything you can buy anywhere. So if you're looking to have a unique gift to remember your pet by or give a unique gift that to remember your pet by and you are crafty or DIY savvy, um, these ideas are gonna be great for you. Even if you're not crafty, a lot of them are really not that hard. So I went on a quest to find the instructions for people on how to make the gift that my friend gave me. And I had the hardest time finding the stupid instructions because she was like not, she didn't remember where she got them from. And she didn't, you know, she's like, I can't write you a, a guide. You know, I don't know, go online and look. So I did. And when I was looking for it, I actually found a bunch of really cute crafty memorial ideas. So I thought, I would share them with you along with the links to access all the instructions on how to do this. Because again, I want to make it clear, I have not made these, okay? I have not. But what I have done is scoured the internet and these are the cutest, best ideas that I could find. So I thought, heck, why not share them with you guys? So the first one is these coasters. And uh, the website is Pop Sugar um, is where I found these at. They're fairly easy to make. They are just um, involved. The only tools you need are a hot glue gun, scissors, and an at-home printer. And you can make these beautiful coasters, beautiful memorial coasters. Um, unfortunately, on this particular article, there are no links to buy the supplies. So it's not like you can buy them and just have them sent to your house. Um, you would have to go to like a craft store and, and get, you know, the coasters and stuff like that. But I don't think any of this would be terribly hard to find. I'm pretty sure you can go in your local craft store and ask for it. Um, the next one is, this is just the cutest idea I have ever seen in my life. And I was like, way to go. I think it's inferently creative is the name of the website. I'm sorry if I totally butchered your website name. Um, but it is this picture frame memory wreath where you get these little tiny picture frames and you put them on this wreath. And I thought, wow. I mean, it is a statement. This is a statement piece if there ever was one. And what an adorable idea. Um, now, I would say this wasn't as super easy to make because I looked at the instructions. Um, but the reason why it's not, so, I wouldn't say it's super easy to make is because this is going to be time consuming. You're going to have to print out the pictures or get them printed or whatever. And then you're going to have to cut them out. You're going to have to put them in the frames and then put each one of these frames on the wreath. So it will take you some time. I would estimate a craft time of two plus hours, um, depending on if you have the pictures printed or you print them yourself. But basically all you need as far as like tools is wire cutters and an at-home printer. Um, obviously you're gonna need the picture frames, which might get to be expensive, but I would try to check out the $1.25 store because it's not a dollar anymore. Um, and maybe you can find something there or um, on Oriental Trading or somewhere like that. Maybe you can buy some in bulk because that will really help you save. The next one, which comes from, that's what she said, their website. It is, I don't think this is a difficult uh, necessarily to make. Most people can make this pretty easy idea. Uh, this little photo lantern. Uh, craft time on this is going to be about an hour. And all you really need is this is a hot glue gun and a printer. And there are links to buy supplies in this article. So you can literally just go to the article and look at it it'll give you the instructions and it'll give you the links to buy the supplies um on the photo memory uh wreath there was not links to buy sorry i think i forgot to tell you guys that um so the next one that comes from unoriginalmom.com um this is very easy to make anybody can make this including kids is uh mason jar lid magnets 
okay? These are adorable. Craft time on these, less than 30 minutes. All you need is hot glue gun and scissors and it is, uh, when it comes to tools. And there are links to buy inside that article as well. So the Anastasio, I think that's how you say this. I probably did not pronounce that right. I am humbly sorry for that. Um, this cute little photo board, which I think is adorable um very simple easy to make you could do this with kids craft time less than one hour all you need is a hammer scissors and an at-home printer as far as tools and there are links to buy in this now what i love about this is you could literally give it blank with no pictures i probably would put a couple pictures on it if i was giving it as a gift or making it for my own home decor the great thing about it is you could swap these pictures out very easily you just unclip put it in your picture so like if you had pictures of your cat uh pictures of your cat at the holidays you could put holiday photos up the holidays or springtime photos or fall or whatever you could switch the photos in and out it doesn't have to be the same thing so absolutely adorable on that um the next one a beautiful mess uh this is simple to make again craft time less than 30 minutes all you need is scissors in terms of tools and an at-home printer there are no links to buy supplies i'm thinking because there's not really that much um supplies you would need you just need the frame and then to cut out a bunch of these little pictures now i would think that you could do this with any size frame the instructions specifically give you how to make this but you could take that idea make your own border and you could do just four photos or five photos or 20 or whatever you could create your own layout of this by going to your local craft store and getting a um, photo mat and just filling that kind of thing out so very easy uh, as far as that is concerned uh, this one from discover hub pages is can be as complicated as you want it to be so it could be a complicated crafting project or a very easy crafting project and they do have links to buy supplies on this one and there are kits that you can buy to create this memorial stone a kit i think would probably help you than diying it on your own but like i said they give you the entire instructions now this the time required the dry time on this is going to be 74 hours um, but the crafting time the time you're actually creating the craft is going to be less than one hour on this particular one and you don't need any tools there are no tools no special tools needed for this you just get the supplies and you can make uh, a memorial stone for your cat this is really great um, if you got kids they're looking to do something you want to make it personal uh, and and so i really uh, like this idea for the the personalization aspect of it the next one comes from snappy living it is a wind chime that you could make this can go from extravagant to very simple because the website basically gives you all the instructions you need to make as complicated of a wind chime or as simple as you want it to be. So this is open for anybody. It doesn't tell you like you have to use this. It literally tells you like you can use spoons, you can use this. It gives you so many ideas on how to make a memorial wind chime. It's incredible. Probably takes about an hour and 15 minutes of crafting time to make something like this. The only supply you need is gonna be a drill to drill through whatever materials you're using to actually loop in the wires and stuff like that. And there are no links to buy on this website because like I said it gives you all of these different ideas and tells you how to really customize your wind chime so you can you know use anything you can use bamboo I mean you guys have to check this out if you're interested in making a memorial wind chime it's going to give you everything you need okay so the thing that started this spiral the gift that my friend gave me from Sarah Savings Blogspot this necklace it is simple and easy dry time is 28 hours so it does take some time to dry crafting time is less than 10 minutes you need an exacto knife or, and a rubber mallet and the great thing about this particular blog post is she does give you the links to buy these supplies so you're not going to have to go around and find it but here is the actual necklace that my friend made me now this is a picture that she printed off of her computer from a picture i sent her on her phone 
So I texted her this picture for Valentine's Day. He, you can't see it in the picture, but it has a thing that says BFF on it. And I was like, we just wanted to wish our BFF a happy Valentine's Day. And she was like, oh my God, it's the cutest picture of your cat. That was a text message. This is a picture from a text message that she printed off an at-home computer and made this gorgeous necklace of beautiful little feet. Now, when she first gave it to me, I didn't have any like pictures of him. I had like on my phone, but I didn't have any picture pictures. I carried this with me everywhere because I just wanted to see his face. And I slept with it. I, I literally just carried this. It meant so much to me. And I had so many people online asking me about this. Now, I've actually replaced this with a cremation, um, a cremation necklace, but this actually is attached to my lamp on my bedside table so that I can see it every night before I go to bed. And it still means the world to me. Now, the cool thing about this is even if this was to tarnish, like this necklace is to tarnish, I could just take this necklace off and the pendant and I could totally replace the necklace. I could replace it with like a black cord or something like that it didn't necessarily have to be silver but this was what started it all so for all of you guys that want to know how to make this check out the link below this video it's going to give you the links to every single one of these websites so you don't have to go searching around the internet because this this was not easy to find this was a three-day mission to find the instructions on this so you're welcome okay can i get a thumbs up can i get a thumbs up for three days trying to find this and still found it what? Thumbs up for me. Hit that button. You know you want to. And if you want more content from me, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can get notified when I release new content. Till I see you guys over on the next video, you know what to do. Keep living your most perfect life.